Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Raspberry Pi. So if you want to learn web development and want to buy a low budget PC, then I can tell you that Raspberry Pi can be the best value for money for you. Today in this video I will show you how to make a Raspberry Pi 4 ready for web development. So for web development basically what we need a web browser and an IDE or code editor right. So today I will show you how to set up the best IDE for your Raspberry Pi and optimize it for better performance. And also I will show you adding some extension which is very helpful for web development. So first if we talk about the browser, the Raspberry Pi has pre-installed Chromium web browser. And it will be enough for our need so we don't need to do anything else or need to install any other web browser. Second is the ID. So one of the best ID for any type of code editor or mostly for web development is Microsoft VS Code in my opinion. So let me show you how to install it. So open up your terminal and type sudo apt update to update your Raspberry Pi packages. Then type another command to install the VS Code or Visual Studio Code Editor on your Raspberry Pi. Type sudo apt install code and it will start installing VS Code or Visual Studio Code in your Raspberry Pi. Ok, the code editor is now installed. Now to open it, go to Raspberry Pi menu, programming and you will see Visual Studio Code icon. Click on it and open it. Now you need to optimize it to work efficiently on Raspberry Pi. So press on your keyboard, Ctrl, Shift plus P. Then here type configure runtime argument and press enter. And you have to make this line uncomment. Then press Ctrl S to save the file and restart your VS Code. Now you need to install some extension based for VS Code. So click here on extension and first of all search live server and install this extension. It will help you to see live output of your coding. Then search for beautify and install it. It will help you to keep your code in format to look your code clean and easily readable. Now all done. Now let me demonstrate you with all of this combination how to use it for web development. Here I am taking a new file in VS Code and writing an HTML boilerplate and save it. Now right click on the code editor then click on the open with live server this option and it will open up your browser and show you the live output of your code. Now write anything in the code and press Ctrl S and it will show you the output on the browser. So guys that's all for today. Our Raspberry Pi 4 is ready for web development. Thanks for your watching.